Gordon, we're here in Highfield Road and you're just walking past Woodhouse Opticians and they've got their Christmas celebrations, they're launching a, a new range and, uh, and the Christmas season and uh, uh, you've sort of come in to just uh, say hello but should, what should happen with businesses and local communities and, and high streets these days? Why should people support I, them? I think it's really important that we've got somewhere on Highfield Road where I've got both my flat and my office and uh, I try to use the local shops as much as I can. I think it's really important we've got somewhere like Woodhouse's that has been here over 50 years, you know, and is flying the flag for small businesses. Uh, we've got Small Business Saturday coming up, we've got Christmas, and they're really making an effort. It's a family run uh, firm. I, I have very fond memories when I was a child of going to a family opticians where I grew up in Stockport, and they did my mother, my grandmother, and everybody else. And somewhere like Highfield Road, which is an out of town shopping centre, it's really good and really important to have small businesses that know the local community, that work with people, and that are really working hard to make a go of it. Have you got a message for small businesses that are maybe feeling a little bit uh, under the pressure? W what is it they need to do? Well, um, there's no one thing they need to do. Um, uh, you know, we're in the 21st century, so they probably need to get online and get Twitter, what else is it done, and, and do all the marketing things. But I don't think there's any substitute for good old-fashioned uh, knowledge, service um, and you know just that pers personal touch. I mean doing everything on online and with nine different options is one thing but actually having people who know you, perhaps know your family, know your likes, your dislikes, um, that is the, the USP um, that will help small businesses get through. Well, it's been a tough time, um, but people in Blackpool are very entrepreneurial and they've been always looking for new ideas and new ways of presenting things. So it's great that we've got Woodhouses here, and we've got other uh, good small businesses in the town, you know, up and running and doing stuff uh, for this month and beyond. Um, one of the new phrases is the sort of experience economy. Now, you spend a lot of time in London, as, yeah. as, as you say. Do you find that people are raising the bar in terms of delivering customer service, hospitality and experience, or is there still a long I, way to go? I, I, think, I, think I, I think they are raising the bar, as you put it. Um, I think, you know, there's, there's, there's two contrary trends in, in, in the modern world. One is everybody is very busy, everybody's multitasking. So, yes, the Amazons and the rest of it, you know, they're, they're very much out there for people because um, one-stop shopping and all the rest of it but at the same time people feel oh well you know it, they like the old-fashioned service they like the personal touch um, and I think as I say that's what small businesses can capitalize on not saying don't use all the, 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 the online and 21st century techniques but, but remember that your USP is that personal touch and that, uh, and that experience. Great thanks for sharing that. Okay.